Hey guys, Bubba Rutherford, Rutherford Landing Cattle. On the tip of the day, I want to bring something to you that um, that I had happen to me the other day on a, uh, on a set of cows. And I had somebody come looking at a set of cows and I, you know, and I put a set, they kind of told me what they was wanting. They was wanting me something that would really reproduce and raise a good calf, and good bags and everything. And so I was like, man, here, here's the perfect cow. And so I picked out this good looking, this good looking set of cows and then when they got here, they was like, no, that, that's not what I want. And I said, okay, what, uh, what are you talking about? They said, well, the cow's not big enough. I said, oh, okay, well, let's go look at the cows. They, you, you know, you pick out the cows that you want. And so, uh, anyhow, when they got through and they picked out these cows, uh, they picked out these great, big, fat cows that had just, I mean, just pawns on the butt. You know, just big old, fat, barren cows. And so, anyhow, after picking them out and everything, I said, well, that, that's, that, I'm sorry that I picked out the cows that, that I did because that's, that's, this is the kind of cows you told me you wanted. And I said, but that cow you picked out, they won't reproduce. And so, anyhow, we went through and we got, you know, got to talking to them and everything. And here, here's the whole deal. When you pick out a great, big, fat cow, just a huge, fat cow in the back end, what that cow is, she's barren. She can't reproduce. And what it amounts to is when I stick my hand in there, when I ultrasound the cow or whatever, or if I want to check the tracks, when I check the tracks, I stick my hands in. When I stick my hand in there, you take a big fat cow, and you stick your hand in there, that track is going to be just what we call a bad track. And that cow can't, uh, now she may breed, but she ain't going to stick. And the sperm can't get to where it needs to go. And so, and she just, she just ain't going to reproduce. And she may get pregnant. She may have a calf every two years, but she ain't gonna be a good one. And a lot of times, you know, so what you do, you want a good Finneman type cow that'll that'll produce and and go from there. Uh, but you know what? That's the way it is with us as Christians. I don't care how good looking you are, or how good much of the word you think you know, and all the things that you may have in life, and you got your stuff together. <clears throat> but what are you producing? You see, like on that track on that cow, that track needs to be moved back up, and that track would be in the right position so that the sperm could get in there and she could reproduce. A lot of times in our Christian walk, what we got to do, we just got to move a few things around in our life, get to the point where we can uh, say the things and have the things that, uh, say the right things, allow the Word of God to come out of our mouths, speak life, and it don't matter how much of the Word you read, but if you're reading all the word and none of the words coming out of you, all you're doing is being selfish to yourself and storing that word up. But what you got to do is move that just like that old track on that old cow that's way down in there. You got to move a few things around, get things right, and then once you start speaking the word of God out of your mouth, you can start producing things in life that you never thought you could produce. The reason is, uh, faith without works is dead. Word of God said faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. But at the same time, faith without works is dead. In other words, you can have all the faith in the world. But if you don't allow that faith to move, if you don't allow that mountain-moving faith to exist in your life, you'll never be no good to nobody. That big old cow, big fat cow out there that's got a bad track, that's positioned wrong, she ain't nothing but a kill cow to me. And at the same time, you may be big, fat, and sassy and have all the Word of God down on the inside of you, but if you're not proclaiming it out of your mouth, you're no good to the kingdom of God. And so I just want to encourage you. If you've got the Word down in I'd rather uh, I'd rather a baby Christian have one verse of Scripture down on the inside of them and be proclaiming it out of their mouth than a Bible scholar that just wants to sit there and be hypocritical about everything that uh, that goes on in life. So I just want to encourage you, be real. Allow the Word of God to position things in right in your life. If you need help, you give us a call. This is Bubba Rutherford saying we buy and sell cattle six days a week. We're always closed on Sunday. You guys have a good day.